We are here live at Fountain of Grace Christian Center's sixth annual prior breakfast titled Love Feast. And I have here standing with me the senior pastor of Fountain of Grace Christian Center, Pastor Gabriel Adebayo. Pastor, can you tell me, was your expectation of the Love Feast what it turned out to be today? Absolutely. There is no doubt in my mind. Uh, what we are looking at here is the, is the grace of God compared to what we had last year. And the Bible says that the glory of God and the mercy of God is new every morning. So what we see now is another great day of God. For this is the day that the Lord has made. The Bible says this is the day. And the very singular form, meaning that this day. So it is exciting. It is, it is surprising. And God has really displayed all those good things that he had promised us. So it's, it's beyond what I was looking for. This is our sixth annual prior breakfast. What set apart Love Feast apart from the other five that we've hosted here at Fountain of Grace Christian Center? Well, there is one thing about God. God never repeats his blessing. And whatever he do for A, he will do the same thing. That's why no one can master God's way of doing things. And because of that, every time God show up, he show up in a different form. And he does things that is surprising to mankind. That's why he's God. That's why he remains God. And that's why we're going to be seeing greater things ahead, greater year ahead, greater events coming. And of course, there's nothing to say than God is with us at Fountain of Grace. Amen. Amen. I'd also like to ask you, Pastor, what, what are the purpose of these events? Because like we've been saying, this is our sixth annual prior breakfast. What is the main purpose of these events? Well, mainly the main purpose is to uh, extend the service to people sometimes who don't have the time enough and to also fellowship with new people who have their uh, local church that they go to. But in a garden like this, you call people of different race and religion to come together. We get to know each other. And it is indeed a pleasure to be here. I heard the pastor on Grace Deliverance Radio about two weeks ago. And when I heard him, I said, you know what? I'm going to visit that, that, that breakfast. I am an, I'm an Adventist. And this morning I should be in church. But guess what? I am in church. Amen. Because I am with God's people. Amen. We are doing what? Worshiping God. Praising God. And giving thanks. We extend ourselves. We're networking. We get to stand strongly and form an alliance with God. And trust me, you can't miss that. That's something no one can miss. I'm so glad to be here. I felt the warmth at the door when I came in this morning. And I, it's a small gathering, but it's overwhelming of the feeling that you get from the people around and the people who have been serving us. And I just thank you. And I just told First Lady that she'll be seeing me at the, at the boat drive. And so, and I told um, the people at my table that next year, well, this is my first year at the breakfast, but next year I place it on my calendar for next year. Amen. And it is an event to talk about. Thank you so much, Pastor, for your time. And we look forward to the next event of Fountain of Grace Christian Center. Thank you for having me. May God Thank bless you. you. We expect to see you next year. If you miss this year, I can't wait to let you know that next year is going to be much more greater. And I think it would be better to put this in your calendar. Mark that day. It is not a day you can miss. I want to see you there personally. God bless you. Amen. Amen.